Hey, what's going on, guys? Boostang 23T here. I wanted to do a quick video on the uh, post that was done on the forums um, in regards to the um, fuel pressure sensor or line uh, going bad. This basically can cause an engine failure, uh, especially if you're uh, tuned and have um, aftermarket parts, botons, or whatnot. Um, which can create basically what we call an eco boom. So Adam Brunson, uh, shout out to him. He's the one who gave this information. So I don't want to take any credit. Just wanted to do a video to help everyone out on basically what he's doing to, so you can diagnose if you have uh, a faulty uh, a fuel pressure sensor or line or whatnot. So um, you need to enable all these gauges here. Uh, low side FP actual, HP FP command, FRP, actual and desired depending on what happens here on these tests it will determine if you have a bad or a, or a good sensor or line so I'm gonna go ahead and explain each one one by one so that you guys can go ahead and understand but I'll provide all the details in the description directly copy paste from Adam Brunson himself all right so the scenarios are as follows the low side FP actual um, should be fluctuating like that how you see it on on the video um, and it should be between uh, you know not go above 80 you know or 90 I should say more or less um, but he's uh, saying 80 mines is fluctuating you can see it go up and down uh, mainly is in the 70s and once in a while it jumps up to you know into, uh, into the high 80s or whatnot so um, that's still considered good if you have anything different then your sensor is bad um, on the um, HF uh, PP command here you have to go into uh, boost so if you go into a small boost so I think uh, you know as long as you're in the boost range not high but you know in the low so 5 10 you know whatever PSI you should be fine I'm not a rev here I'm in the middle of traffic so um, but what happens is when you do uh, when you are in boost this should be at 0% there shouldn't be anything other um, than that if you're at a hundred percent or whatnot then your sensor is bad if you get uh, here when you're in boost um, um, so as you saw it went to zero once I hit the boost um, I accelerated it. that's uh, normal uh, these two down here uh, the uh, FRP actual and desired are um, they go in conjunction so under the desired when you are also on low boost um, this should not go above 2000 psi and this should not go uh, nowhere near below 200 or 300 psi they should both be consistent basically if they go up they should both come down um, as you see here here they're fluctuating almost similar so when you're in boost um, they should you know uh, be synchronized and uh, when when they come back down they should come back down normal you shouldn't have one higher than the other again um, and also if this one is way too high um, above 2000 psi then you're bad and then if this one stays low between the 200 and 300 range then your sensor is also bad so um, that's basically it guys um, that's all you have to do um, again guys do this one in a safe uh, road or whatnot you're gonna be in low boost so um should be safe but play it safe right now i'm in traffic so i wasn't able to go ahead and show you exactly but basically you get the idea you just go into a boost um either 5 10 psi and then just go ahead and do the monitoring per um engage there and uh if you want to know how to set this up basically um if you go into the gauges um menu and you go to the setup which is if you scroll down and you highlight this green hour right here next to setup go to gauge layout you can go ahead and change into a four gauge and then look for the different um, gauges so you can get the information of those four data if you want to do a five gauge so you can monitor the PSI here all together you can I went ahead and I did the fifth gauge using the one that comes on the car um, and then once you do that once you're in here basically you scroll as you see each one you can highlight and you can change so if you wanted to change this first one here you just select it uh, hit the center change monitor and you can go ahead and and search the correct gauge that you need for this test or whatnot so um, anyways guys if you have any questions comments go ahead and uh, write them I'll try to answer you answer you or whatnot 
Um, but like I said, this came from Adam Bronson. So thank you, uh, Tomb Plus and Adam Bronson for uh, helping the EcoBoost community and avoiding any uh, eco booms or whatnot like that. So um, guys, go ahead and check this. Uh, this is very important. So um, I got lucky enough that I had a rough idle issue and for some reason I was also correlated to that type of uh, sensor and also hose. So I got that replaced. It cost me 500 bucks um, cause I was out of warranty. But apparently there has been some type of recall um, but it's only for the 2014 2015 model. So there's still some speculations on what's right and what's wrong We don't know if it affects all the years what's applicable, but check please check and uh, take this uh, very serious and um, Go ahead and share this video uh, make it you know so that everyone in the EcoBoost uh, community is aware um, like sh share subscribe as always and um, Until next time boost tank 23t I'm out. Have a very blessed day.